learning how to use a sharing circle. So today's sum is 16 divided by 4. So first what we're doing uh, for the uh, sharing circle, we're going to look at the first number and then we're, whatever number that is, we're going to get how many count like there is. So what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, Sixteen countdowns. We're going to look at the second number in the sum, which is four. So, if your second number is a different number, like six, you're going to draw six circles. But for us, it's four, so we're going to draw four circles. Okay. Now, once you've drawn your four circles, you're going to get your counters and then. Put one in each one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So now we've done our counters, we're going to look and see there's the same amount of counters so we've got one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and now it's we've got four counters and everyone if it's all the same you know it's right and how many counters there is is your answer now if you're more confident to do it if you've done it couple of times and you're finding it very easy, you can do it with dots. So what you do with dots is it's the same process really. All you do is you do a dot so but when you're doing the dots you just count up until you get to sixteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. So now we've did uh, six. We now we've did it with dots. You see, it's still one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's the same because it's got the same amount of counter uh, dots in each circle, and that's your answer. And that's how you do a sharing circle. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be learning how to use a sharing circle. So, today's sum is 72 divided by 3. And first, what we do to do, use this sharing circle is look at the first number. So, it's 72 in our case. So, first we're going to do is get 72. 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. And now we've got two units, one, two. And see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 71, 72. So we've got our 72, we'll move everything down to a corner or to the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to look at the second number. One second, no, three. So one, two, and three. So we've got three circles, we're just going to make this one bigger, so it's too small for your tens. And we make this other one bigger here. So, 
gotta try and make them as big as we can. It doesn't matter what shape they are really. Now we're going to share them equally uh, with the circles. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Now we have a problem. These two circles have 22 tens, which is 20, and this circle has three tens, which is 30. So what we're going to do is one of the tens in the circle that has one too many is we're going to take that ten away and replace it with ten units. So see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have our 10 units right here, as you can see. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did before. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you see you have four in this one, three in this one, and three in this six. You got your other two units from the start because it's 72. So we'll add those two to the circles that have three. So one, two. And we've got four in each one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And tens. One, two. One, two. One, two. So now we've done that, we're, now we're going to uh, get our answer by looking, counting them all together. Not if, only one circle though, so 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now we've done that, that's our answer. Now we've written our answer and that's how you do it. With tens, oh, that's how you do it with tens, concrete materials, and units. Thank you for watching. Bye.